get some straightening around here, man. Yeah, let's get some straightening around here. What we got going on, man? What we got, man? Say, man, it's your boy Hater, man. It's 2018, baby. I'm back. All right, so here we go, man. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First off, I want to tell each and every one of y'all, fuck your New Year resolution, man. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck whatever New Year resolution you got. Whatever promises you done made to yourself, you, you, you've been lying ever since you was born, so you're going to lie to yourself even in 2018. You feel what I'm saying? So, I got something special for y'all today. Yeah, I got something real special for y'all today. Okay. Today, Hayden Beckers is going to give out his first Ignite Nigga Award of the year. This the first one. This the first, and this dude right here might top. I don't even think nobody gonna be able to top this ignorant shit right here, man. I'm telling you, it's going down, man. When you when you when you when you, when you think about ignorant, there's nowhere in the world you cannot, you know, you you, you got to give it to this cat right here, man. Okay. First off. <laughs> I really want to know how, I really want to know how you, uh, uh, Roland Hodge, Gorilla Blue, say some of the shit you say. I mean, the, the shit, is, the shit is just utterly, I mean, it, it's just amazing for you to say some of the shit that you say. Um, and, and don't get it wrong. You know what I'm saying? This ain't personal. It's just hate them, baby. You feel what I'm saying? It's just hate them. It ain't personal. So, with that being said, let's get down to the business. Okay, hold on. Let me let me pull this shit up. Cause I don't want y'all to think I'm making this shit up. This shit, this shit is ignorant for real, for real. Okay? Yeah, this shit is ignorant for real, for real. Yeah. Oh, now, now you gotta let a clown be a clown. Check this out, partner. You've already proven that. We you personally already have proven that. Hold on, let me let me get set up. Let me get set up. I told y'all 8:45, so I wanted to be here 8:45. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta let a clown be a clown. All right, let, let's go. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me turn this down. I don't want no interference. I don't want no interference from this one right here. Okay. All right. So good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. So check this out, man. The ignorant. Nigga, a 2018 already award goes to Roland Hodge. Now, understand this. Hate them. Don't give a damn about your good times, your bad times, your sad times. I don't, I don't give a damn about none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Always know that I'm going to bring the truth. The whole truth, so nothing but the truth. So, again, for whatever New Year's resolution all of y'all made, put that with it. From Hayden Beckers, put that with your New Year's resolution. Because it is what it is. All right, so, we're going to start with this post right here. Y'all see this shit right here? This is on Roller Hodge post, okay? That, that's on Roller Hodge post. Let me see if I can play this video. This ignorant Negro done turned into an auctioneer. If I was his homegirl, I would truly feel like a modern-day slave. You feel me? I would truly feel like a modern-day slave. I'm saying, this Negro, get on Facebook, you feel me, and tell the whole entire world that his homegirl need plenty of dick, 10 kids, and he don't give a damn whoever it is. He just need, he just know what she need. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? And then he named a, 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 a individual that he felt was right for the pickers. What is this nigga doing? Paying you? What are you? You a modern day slave owner? 
This nigga just auctioned your little pussy off, man. You know what I'm saying? He just took your pussy and just gave it to the whole entire world for just, hey, here you go. Here goes some free pussy. Now, it's only two things. No, 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 no. We're not, no, 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 no. We're not bringing you on video Rolling Hodge. No, no, sir. Don't even think about it. No. You're going to sit back and enjoy this one. You know, oh, because I ain't done. This is just a tip up. You feel what I'm saying? So, all the shit Nat Turner fought for, you done brought it right back in 2000. You started your year off 2018 auctioning off some pussy. You know what I'm talking about? Roll it. Listen, roll it. Listen. Listen, man. We trying to uplift the black people. You know what I'm saying? We not trying to tell them that. We trying to uplift them, man. You feel me? And here you go. Here you go with the shenanigans already. It ain't even, we just started 2018, and you and you got you got pussy, pussy, I'm sorry, on the oxygen block. Yeah. I'm just saying, man. So we, we're going to start with that. So if, if I was uh, Felicia the Great, I'd be cussing your monkey ass out right now. Let me see. What's up, y'all? See, look, look. I know I said I wasn't going to mention that about the edges, but I'm trying to auction her off so that uh, somebody can get her uh, pregnant. So, uh, 65, 75, 35, 45, 45, 75, can I get 50 over there? Can I get 50? Can I get 55 over there? 55, 60, can I get 60, 65, 70, 75, 70, can I get 50? Sold to the nigga with the 80 dicks. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to make this shit up, man. You just saw it for yourself. I can't make this shit up, man. It's your boy. I ain't no bad up this thing, man. You just heard it for yourself, man. The boy say he the, uh, the boy, all the shit that turned it and fought for. That's what it is, Blue. You that little nigga that told Massa what, what that turner was doing, huh? That's who you in? You that little nigga that was in the corner when they went to go do their thing. He was over there with Massa. He done told Massa, 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 this, this rolling hard, Massa. This Gorilla Blue, Massa. I got a story for you. I got, I got some information for you, Massa. Hey, the Negroes is going to try to leave, Master. They're going to try to cause a revolt, Master. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Master, I'm good. I'm loyal to you, Master. You feel? That's what you sound like right now. You sound like a modern-day slave trader right now, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, again, 2018 ignorant nigga of the ward, man, already, man, goes to Gorilla Blue, man. I'm going to let y'all finish hearing this, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Grandson or a stepson or whatever you want to call it, just so I can follow him. You feel me? Um, we need somebody uh, that's ready because she, she's ready to breathe right now. And if we can go and get her pregnant right now, I had a baby in time for taxes. And that. <laughs> Look, now, now he just sounds like he's raising pit bull puppies or something. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, now it sounds like he breed pit bull puppies. Today. We can go on and get her bread right now. I have been. And then, listen here. This is the thing, Blue. This is the thing, Rolling Hot. 
You ain't paid no taxes, Roland. How you's a trash man, a trash man. Listen, man, whatever you need, go find it in the garbage bag. If you need a tax deduction, it's in the garbage, man. You feel what I'm saying? Everything in the house is probably the shit you done found on your route. The table, the chairs, the coffee, all of that, man. You done fix that shit, put that shit together. Let me tell you something, man. Everything in your house, yeah, they got duct tape, uh, uh, Gorilla Glue, you feel what I'm saying, and Bondo on it, man. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's what you... Listen, man. I don't know no trash man that you everything you need, man, is on your route, man. Now all of a sudden you want a tax break. But you wanna you wanna you wanna slave master your homegirl, your little sister, in order for you to get it. So what's she gonna get? So she get two babies, you say thirteen hundred dollars, and now she on the county for the rest of her life. And taxpayers got to pay for her to be on the county. And then you got a, a, a wayward-ass baby daddy that's going to be in child support court getting his license and shit suspended and all. Yeah, yeah. Axel, he know all, Ax Big Sale, he know all about that license suspended shit and the whole nine yards, man. You feel what I'm saying? It's, I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying, man. It is. I'm just telling you some real shit, man. The man sound like he... Listen, Nat Turner fought to get rid of niggas like you, man. You feel what I'm saying? And you just went, 2018, man, you went right back to it, man. So, again, man, I ain't making this shit up. Let me, let me finish. Let me, let me, let me. I'll get her pregnant. That's 1-800-I'll-get-her-pregnant. Thank you. And then a nigga done gave you a hotline number, man. I got my own yeah, he done gave you a hotline number, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm going to say this one more time. So to the nigga over there with 75 dicks, man. Go on over there. Go on over there, Miss Felicia. Go on get them dicks. You feel what I'm saying? Because Blue done auctioned you off. He done put you on the auction block. You know what I'm saying? You might well go on get them dicks, man. You know what I'm talking about? So that's the key word of the year, man. That's how we going to start it off, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's how we going to start it off, man. Yeah, it's going down, man, 2018. Now, that's the first one. Y'all ready for this one? Okay. So that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. So now he come back. Where is it at? Let me get it. Let me get it. So now he come back with this video. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Now he come back with this video. He come back with this video right here where he done made all the wrong choices in his life. The man was in the club seven days. And when he got his whole body tattooed with a club that he wasn't the founder of, he wasn't the originator of, you feel what I'm saying? He wasn't none of that, man. His nigga go get a whole hog life tattoo from the tip of his, his skull all the way down to his ankles. It's all the way down his back, everything. You feel what I'm saying? He got hog life tatted all the way down. H H O G G L I F E, all the way down. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. That's your ignorant ass mistake. Let me tell you something. We already know you didn't have no sense. You feel what I'm saying? You, we already know you didn't have no sense. But let me tell you something. Man. I realized today, I realized today that Michael Jackson and the Wiz as the Scarecrow got more brains than you. You feel what I'm saying? Michael Jackson in the Wiz as the Scarecrow got more brains than you, babe. You feel what I'm saying? Even he know damn well he he ain't have enough knowledge to do some of the shit he did, so he you know he eased on down the yellow brick road. You feel me? But show ass. You feel what I'm saying? You go get a tattoo. You in the club five days, which is also let me let me say this too now. That made one, two, three, seven prospects and four clubs in four months. You done prospected seven for seven clubs. And been in four in four months. You get in hog life and you tattoo your entire, the entire hog life for life, all that, from the tip of your head all the way down to your to the to the back of your little old ankle, man. You feel what I'm saying? Who does that shit, man? I'm just saying. The scarecrow in the whiz, you feel what I'm saying? Michael Jackson got more brains than you, man. You feel what I'm saying? This shit got to stop. It's 2018, man. I'm just saying. It's 2018. Gorilla Blue, listen. So now, in this video, I'm going to let y'all watch the video. It's, it's about 16. It shouldn't take that long. 
in this video, he done now went and got went to the doctor. He done went to the doctor and then got checked out. Okay, he ended up at the wrong place because what he should have been at was the loony doctor. That's what he should have been at. Doctor, I need a brain because the eyes, eyes ignorant. That's what he should have been at. He should have been at the eyes ignorant doctor. You feel what I'm saying? But now he need a brain. All of a sudden, he need a brain now. So he goes to the doctor, and he ended up at the wrong doctor. He ended up at the skin doctor. So now, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. So he, he ended up at the, at the skin doctor. Okay. So... Yeah, yeah. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get you a little. I'm gonna get you a little punk ass go for me. Okay. Now, so now he don't realize that. Oh, okay, I don't want to do hog life. You know what? The, you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me, here you go right here, mate. I mentioned the weird. Gorilla Blue changed clubs like the weirds changed colors. Today's color. Is green. You got to be seen mean in green. Boom, everybody turned green, they dancing around. That's Gorilla Blue. You feel what I'm saying? That's what he did. So he stayed over there, he stayed green for about an hour, hour and a half. Da, 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 da. This is the whiz. I'm changing the color. The color for today will be blue. Boom. So everybody, oh, you got to be cool in blue. That's this Gorilla Blue now. He, he one of them dancers. You got to be cool in blue. You feel what I'm saying? An hour later, you feel what I'm saying? They come back. If you ain't never watched the weird, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you watch the weird, you know what I'm talking about. Mike. You feel what I'm saying? So now you come back. <laughs> so now, so now you come back. The weird an hour later. Today, I don't no longer like blue because blue wasn't cool. Today's color is red. So, that's what Gorilla Blue is. He went up there, boom, dang, red. I'm not going to be caught dead in nothing but red. And that's what you is, man. You is a whiz dancer, man. And the whiz is controlling the color of the day, the club of the day. You feel what I'm saying? All of that for you, man. You feel what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, you feel what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, it's rare breed. And it ain't no secret. It ain't no... Listen here, it should be. It really should be. You know what I'm talking about? An Antelope Valley chapter. Listen, man, if I was the president, I'd have called you this morning and say, hey, player, 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 your services are no longer needed in the rare breed community, man. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man. It, 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 listen. Listen, man. I ain't making none of this shit up. This shit is the truth. Now, here we go. Hold on. Now, let me show you. So, he gets on live, man. He gets on live, and and and, and, and it says this here, man. I'm ignorant. I ain't got no brain. I'm the 2018 modern day scarecrow, and I realized that the whole body tattoo I got on my back from the tip of my head down to my ankles, that ain't cool because I'm no longer in that club. Now I'm trying to get in this other club, and I need to get rid of this. You, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So here we go, man. Here we go. So now. Yeah, I'm just, they ain't got to won't hate them. They don't got to won't hate them. They don't, they don't got to won't hate them. I'm going to bring you on, though. I'm going to give you action that trying to clear this up. So now, you realize, you, know, you instead of going to the crazy doctor, because it's cold, it's 19 degrees, you got me in the, in, in the garage. Anyway, so instead of going to the crazy doctor, you end up at the skin doctor. So now you're trying to get the tattoo removed. Okay. So because, because you made an ignorant decision, you feel what I'm saying? Because you made an ignorant decision, now you want us to correct your ignorant decision. Let me tell you something, man. You can go fund me. You can hold your hand out. You can ask big. You can do whatever you want to do. I bet not catch and one of y'all giving this Negro nothing to remove no ignorant shit that he never had. No, his wife told him from the beginning, don't do that, baby. That's ignorant. Don't... Roland, don't do that. That's the most ignorant shit of all time. But what he do? As soon as she leave, he run out and he go to spray paint on his on the top of his head. He go to, you know what I'm saying? And this is the cold thing about it. Huh? He didn't even go to a real professional tattoo artist. The nigga went to this homeboy that just got out the pen and they was melting chest pieces. You know how they do it in the pen? They melt the chest pieces and all that. And they, <laughs> that's what he went to because he couldn't pay for the real, the regular tattoo. He went and got a prison tattoo. You feel what I'm saying? All the way down his back. From the top of his head all the way to his ankle. 
He didn't even want to pay for the regular tattoo. He went and got a prison tattoo. You feel me? So, now here we are. Here you go. Y'all hold on now. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here. Bear with him. He gonna start talking. He gonna say some ignorant shit. Hold on, it's coming. Okay, y'all, I'm uh, adding some people to this Facebook Live. And I'm, I'm, I'm reaching out. Believe that. I'm reaching out for help. I don't give a damn. But nobody say. <laughs> I'm serious about this. Uh, I just left this uh, black-owned LV Laser and Skin Center. Uh, young sister, man. She owned it. I'm... It's crazy. You want to you auction her off, too, don't you? You want to auction off the young sister, too, don't you? You feel what I'm saying? You want to auction off the young sister too, man. You feel what I'm saying? That you already look at, you already, look, I can, ooh, I can get, ooh, I can get, shit, I can get a bunch of dicks for that one right there. She a young, black doctor who, that's what he already thinking about. Just keep on listening, keep on listening. I keep saying, and I'm not no racist, I am prejudiced, and I keep saying we need to patronize our own people's business. But I called one place, and they were sending me to, uh, the summer, I mean, the, the Henderson office, and I'm like, man, look, y'all giving me the runarounds, and then I go in this office, I see sisters up in there, I'm like, man, this is crazy, so I'm loving it. They wouldn't give me the runaround, they know they wasn't messing with your ignorant, crazy ass, look, man, you don't get your ass out of here, we don't, we don't remove whole body, i tell you what you do, you know what I'm saying, the only thing we can do is kill your dead, here, lay down on, bah, yeah, okay, tattoo gone, you feel what I'm saying, That's, that was the safest thing for them to do, so instead of doing that, they let you live, man, and let you go next door. You walk into my doctor's office talking about you want to remove a tattoo that the ink ain't even dry on yet. You just put the tattoo on your head, you feel what I'm saying, from your fourth club, seven-time prospecting in four months. Now you want us to remove your ignorant-ass mistake. I tell you what, why don't we just cut open your head and take whatever the rest of the little brain that you got, take the rest of the little brain matter out and throw that shit on the ground and sew you back up. That's easier than trying to remove that tattoo. That's what we might well do. On some real shit, we, we, <laughs> that's what we might well do. Ain't nobody finna sit up here and try to use up all of their goddamn equipment to remove a whole back body tattoo, man. Okay, here we go, here we go. You know what I'm saying? To support my folks. But I do a counsel, counselation, consultation, whatever you call it, um, consultation for, um, uh, to have my tattoo removed. But my wife told me I shouldn't have got it in the first damn place. And um, so I go in there, you know, she measure it and all that stuff. And she telling me off top, she like, look, um, before I even go any further, it's going to be pain. Um, you may yell. Um, you may this, you may that. She said, just don't hit me. I'm like, man, I'm like, are you serious? She like, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. How do you think it's not going to hurt? You got a tattoo on the whole back of your body. And you don't think it's going to hurt? Hell yeah, she's supposed to let you know. You want me to remove the rest of the skin that your ignorant ass got. You want me to take the skin that you done, you done ruined, you done spray painted. You feel what I'm saying? Now you want me to, you know, acetone and laser and all that to get the skin off. Hell yeah, it's going to hurt Gorilla Blue. It should have hurt. When you thought about when you thought about doing that ignorant shit, your brain should have just said, "No, no, 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 that's gonna hurt." But no, no. Okay, so let's go. Let's keep going. Gave me the price for seven sessions, but I'm getting. I, I forgot how she did it, but it's, it came out to twenty three hundred dollars and some change. And then after that, I still have to do more sessions, so that's another two thousand dollars. And I'm sitting here shaking my head like, man, this shit is crazy. I mean, Hold on. No how, how is it crazy now? What should have been crazy, uh, Roland Hodge, was when you went and got the tattoo. That should have been crazier. What's crazier? Getting an ignorant tattoo or removing an ignorant tattoo? Can somebody help me out with that? Which one is more? Y'all tell me which one more crazy. Getting an ignorant tattoo or removing an ignorant tattoo? I need some help with this one, babe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, which one is more crazier? Getting an ignorant tattoo 
or removing an ignorant tattoo. The tattoo ain't even been on five, six, seven days. You feel what I'm saying? Now you, come on, man. Let me, let me finish this up, man. You know, um, a regret is saying, I, I, a regret is a regret. Um, wishing you would have took your time is a different thing. Um, so I'm having the hog life removed off the back of my head. And I'm sitting here watching film and all this of these dudes having these tattoos removed. Big ass buff dudes. Tattoo over his whole chest, screaming. Ah! I'm like, man, I'm like, is that real? She like, yep. I'm like, ain't this about a bitch? So when you first get your tattoo removed, it's white. Like somebody took some white paint, you know, in the dots that she hit with the laser. It's like they just spotted you with some white out. So I'm sitting here like, damn, dude. Oh, shit. I'm like, damn, dude, this, this is crazy. So, um, it's just a, uh, it's a, it's a situation. See, y'all see right there? Y'all see what just happened right there? He was doing too much thinking. He, see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. A person with no brain, when they get to thinking too much, uh, 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 Look, Lou, lead a thinking for people with brains, man. You feel what I'm saying? You just keep doing the ignorant shit you, you know, that you do it, man. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on, what's up? Here, here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Now, okay. Now, what thing about me, man, I, I, I got something for you, Blue. I got a solution. And we're going to get to your solution in just a second. I want, I want the people to hear this first, though. Um, it's it's got to be dealt with. Um, and that's how I'm starting my new year off. You know, getting rid of... Uh, Ignis shit. Ignis shit. And unnecessary people. That's in my life. And I got to say that in the most positive way as possible. Um, if a person is not fertilizer to your spirit, your soul, or your surroundings, meaning if they not going to um, um, help you grow or give you strength, then you don't need them around you. Okay. So that means everybody that's on Gorilla Blue Plays needs to jump the fuck off right now, man. Get gone, man. For real. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. If you hang around ignorant people, you will be ignorant. If you think I'm lying, ignorant people got, they, they just, their whole family is ignorant. So I, if you think I'm lying, follow somebody ignorant to the house and watch on somebody ignorant answer the door. You know what I'm talking about? That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but I, I got a solution for you, Blue. Hold on now, hold on now. I got you now. I got you, I got you. I don't want you to think I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I got a solution. Okay. You know, these situations around you, you know, if you going to the gym, and you just sitting in the gym, lifting weights, and you going outside and, and eating crazy stuff, and you're not losing no weight, and you start a diet, and you need to stop doing it and just continue to do what you're doing. Okay, okay, we'll take that. We'll take that from you. So if you've been doing ignorant shit, going to continue to do ignorant shit, then why are you trying to change? Just continue to do ignorant shit. So now, instead of tattoo, you already done tattooed the whole back of your body. Fuck it, just tattoo the whole front, the sides, underneath the armpits and everything else. I'm saying, why are you going to stop doing English shit? It is what it is, man. Um, I've set up many GoFundMes and helped people and came out my pocket and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not throwing nothing up in nobody's face. I also had a price on having this, um, this fat right here removed. And the wrinkle in my forehead while I was there. That's a whole different ball game. We ain't even going to talk about that. And I'm sitting here saying, man, to, to the men out there, when your wife say something to you, man, look, all that trying to be sneaky like me, I don't say I'm the man. I do what I want to do. I never say that when it comes to my wife at all, period. I never say that. As y'all know, I waited until she went out of town and did what I was going to do. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, now, all of a sudden, he want to be a marriage counselor and a life coach. You know what I'm talking about? Now, all of a sudden, he want to be a marriage counselor and a life coach. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, here, here we go. Keep going. Keep on going. Keep on going. I waited until she went out of town and did what I was going to do, man. 
And she was hot as fish grease when I called her. I'm telling my she was hot. And eventually she was like, okay, babe, you know, that's what you wanted, okay, but you shouldn't have done it. And, um, <laughs> it's, I really don't know what to say, man, but I got it. You ignorant? That's it. That, that's enough. That's enough. I can't take no more. That's it. I just want y'all to hear that part. Okay. So, Gorilla Blue, Roland Hodge, then made an ignorant decision in his life. Now he wants to rely on the friends to help him fix this ignorant ass decision that he done made. Let me hold on. Let me make sure y'all see me. Boy, stop. Boys, we not giving you a dime. We not go funding your shit. We not giving you a crumb to do nothing. If any, if anything, we just gonna keep laughing at your ignorant ass. Okay, I'm back. Now, understand this. Since I got love for you, Blue, you family, you the whole nine yards. I reached out to one of my partners, man. You feel what I'm saying? Went to one of my partners. I showed him the video. He was like, "Oh my, this is a real ignorant motherfucker." I said, "Yeah, yeah, we know that. Get past the ignorant shit." Can we help him with his tattoo? Can we help him with his tattoo? I'm just saying. Uh, so, so this is what this is what we this is what we came up with, man. Blue, there's no need. There's no need to spend no forty two hundred dollars, no twenty four hundred dollars to cover it up. I got something for you. You feel what I'm saying? This is an easy solution. This is gonna cost you maybe about ten. I'm looking at all my materials. This is gonna cost you about. Let's see. Probably about 10, 11 bucks. Okay? I got the solution for you, Blue. I Rolling high. I, because Hatem got love for you, we're going to cover up your tattoo. You feel what I'm saying? We got you. I called my boy. I told him what the situation was. He said, well, look here, Sam. When you got a person like that, ain't no need to you spending a whole lot of money on no ignorance shit because you just throw them. It's like throwing swines to the pigs. You know what I'm talking about? He said, but I got a quick and easy solution, and ain't nobody going to trip because when they see it, they're going to know he ignorant. This is what ignorant, ignorant begins ignorant. This so this is what ignorant do. All right, so look, look, this is my solution. Let me move my stuff out the way. I, I got a whole little setup right here. I got a whole little, okay, let me, let me get my table together. Hold on. Y'all bear with me. I got to get my shit together, man. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Now, Gorilla Blue, Rolling Hodge. To help you remove that tattoo on the back of your body. You feel what I'm saying? I talked to my boy. We reached out, and he sent me the kit. So you owe me. Uh, you, you need to go on and send me this bread. I, I spent my own hard-on money. You feel what I'm saying? So you need to go on and send me this bread, man. I need my bread back. Rolling Hodge. I need my bread. You got me? So because you was ignorant, and because you got a tattoo on your forehead from your fourth club in four months and four days, you feel what I'm saying? From, from your fourth club in four months and four days, you went and got a, a whole body tattoo on the whole back of your body from the top of your head all the way down to your ankles. Hog life, H-O-G-G-L-I-F, the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? Because you did that, this is the easiest and simple solution, and this will work. Ain't nobody going to say nothing. Ain't nobody tripping. Okay? Now, the, the, it, it may vary, you know, at, according to application, but this is a real simple application. All you got to do is lay down. You feel what I'm saying? And have somebody that you trust. You feel what I'm saying? You know, grab you one of these. Grab you one of these right here. Yeah. Now, put that on. Yeah, just lay down and let me do this to you, player. Let me do this to you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you right here, player. This is going to remove all your tattoos right here, player. If that's too dark, hold on, because I, I went and got the, I got the whole kit. If that's too dark, rolling hard, I got a little lighter color so we can shade you in to match whatever your skin tone. Oh, that's dark. Oh, that's the light. That was the light one. This is the dark one right here. So you just, you just coat through there and you just hit that, man. You feel what I'm saying? Ah, ah, ah. You feel what I'm saying? 
An easy solution, man. Ain't no need to bust spending no twenty four hundred dollars doing no GoFundMe. I got you. I seen you this whole kit. You send me my bread. You feel what I'm saying? I seen you this whole. Send me my bread. I seen you this whole kit. Let me show you now. It's easy. All you gotta do is lay down. Have somebody that you trust because you gotta be naked for this one. You feel what I'm saying? You you, you gotta be naked. All you do, you know what I'm saying? You get the little thing. You shake it a little bit. And, uh, 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 uh. You saw that shade in? You saw that shade that in? You can't see nothing up under that. Ain't nobody gonna see your tattoo no more. I promise you. Ain't nobody gonna see it. Ain't nobody gonna care about it. Don't nobody gave a damn about it when you got it. And we damn sure don't get it. That, yeah, don't give a damn about it now. Oh no, no, Jaja, this this the stuff I ordered. This ain't gonna wash off. You feel what I'm saying? This ain't gonna wash off. This is permanent right here, man. This is totally permanent. So, look, look, let me show you. Uh, 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 uh. You just shade it in, man. You get your. It come with a couple of colors. They they kind of match your skin tone. You know what I'm saying? You just uh, 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 shade it in. You know what I'm talking about when it's a dark spot. Yeah. And if you get like, you know, to them stubborn areas that you might got a real a whole lot of ink. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? You got a whole lot of ink. You just, uh, 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 uh. I got you, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Hayden Beckers, man. I got the whole kit for you, man. You feel what I'm saying? We don't need to do no $4,800. No what, 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 what do we, ain't no way in the world we're going to spend that kind of money on an ignorant nigga, man. You feel what I'm saying? We not going to do it, man. It, it, it don't make no sense. Go for, for what? I got the whole kit for the ten dollars, plus shipping. Six ninety nine for shipping. Sixteen ninety nine, and I got your whole tattoo problems removed, man. You feel what I'm saying? You, know what I'm saying? It, 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 you good to go? Rare breed will never know you used to be in another club. Rare, they will never even know it. Just you just take a couple of days to dry, so you got to take off work a couple of days. You feel what I'm saying? And just sit still somewhere. Uh. You feel what I'm saying? You, you just sit still somewhere, and Rare Breed will never know that you had a whole nother club from the top of your head to the bottom of your ankle. They'll never know it, homie. You feel what I'm saying? And then if, if somebody do notice it, just say it was a skin graft. You got into a car accident, and they had to take some skin from your left toe and put it on your, you know, put it on your head or something. You feel what I'm saying? So he, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man. That's what it is, man. So listen here, man. That's, this is the 2018 Most Ignorant Nigga Award for Hayden Beckers. This first award of the year, this first award of the year goes to Roland Hodge, Gorilla Blue Bay. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully, when you go back to the hospital, they just cut your head open, take your brain out, and set your ass down somewhere. Because that's what you need to do. You need to set your ignorant ass down. You feel what I'm saying? Seven prospects, four clubs, and four months. Tattoo four days later, and now it's less than four months, and you're trying to get the tattoo removed. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. It is what it is, man. I'm just it, listen here, man. You know what I'm saying? So again, this is what it is. Shout out to Roland Hodge. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Sit in the, the lace. Whatever it is, man. He needs to sit his ass still. Just play dead. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said. The scarecrow, Michael Jackson on the Wii has got more sense than you, got more brain than you. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying. All right. That's it. That's my time. So do, do y'all want, want to hear from Roland Hodge? Y'all want me to bring Roland Hodge? Anybody want me to bring Roland Hodge on? Just say yeah, man. We're going to bring him on and let him defend himself, man. It's really nothing to defend. The evidence spoke for itself. I showed you the evidence. I ain't making this shit up. The evidence spoke for itself, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying, the evidence spoke for us. I ain't, I ain't making this shit up. This, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't got the. Oh, you say bring him on? Okay, hold on, hold on. Somebody say bring him on. Somebody say bring him on. Hold on. Let me see if I can get him on. Okay, hold on. Oh, where he at? Okay, I tagged him. Okay, let me see. All right, I don't want to hang the video, huh? Okay, let's see. Invite. Okay. I invite friends to watch. No, I don't want to invite nobody. I'm good on that. How do I get, where, anybody seeing, let me see, we're rolling hard, yeah, because yeah, I really want to see how, you know what I'm saying, what he got to say, you feel what I'm saying, because I need him to know that I ain't got nothing but love for him, okay, here you go, right here. Yeah, where you at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, man, yeah, okay, let's bring him on, I'm going to add him, see if he, he probably on his route collecting furniture for the house. That's what he's doing. I told you, everything in his house is, by, if you go back to the earlier video, you feel what I'm saying? Everything in his because he's a trash man, so on his route, he just collects everything he needs. You feel what I'm saying? 
Yeah, okay. He ain't fucking with me? Okay. Okay. Well, it, I mean, I, I gave him an opportunity. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he ain't, uh, that's it. He's no, no rolling high. Roll it. Where you at, man? I told you he on his route, man. He just saw a nice piece of used furniture. He loaded up on the truck right there. He'll get back to us when he get done. The couch only need a little bit of stuffing. You know what I'm saying? And the part that's missing, he going to just, you know what I'm saying? Lay that over that. You know what I'm saying? So he that's what he's doing. Anyway, it's your boy Hayden Beckers. I tried to bring him on to give him the action. He didn't want to get on. It is what it is. But rolling eyes. Fuck you. In 2018, you get the first ignorant nigga of the year award right now, man. I love you, man. It's your boy Hayden. No, I don't. I don't love you. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. I'm just saying that because I'm supposed to say that. It's your boy Hayden. I'm 